Hello guys, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to interview Latecom and this is a new series I invented where I go out and ask YouTubers if they want to join an interview and I want to try to interview every single trove YouTuber and by the way if you're a trove YouTuber and you want to join the interview then just DM me on Discord or I don't know into the comments but I will definitely come for you guys so just wait, I will DM you personally. <laughs> so yeah, I prepared some questions for Latecom, he will answer those and I think he left some really nice messages and also some nice answers there. So yeah, let's get right into the interview. So yeah, okay, so first question is if you knew me already before this interview. Well, I I guess I did remember you from like the start of when I started playing Trove. I guess I kind of saw you in in the Discord, I guess, on and off back then. Yeah. Yeah, so I kind of remember you, I guess. Well, okay, yeah, I joined your Discord when you started. And yeah. yeah, since you started the club, I wasn't active on your Discord, but I'm still in there. But Yeah, well. yeah. So, second question is, how much of an otaku are you? Um, well, I definitely have watched more than a hundred animes, that's for sure. Oh, okay. So, full time, yes, I'd say full time. Full time, okay. Do we also watch, do we only watch anime or do we also read manga? Nah, the reason why I don't really like reading manga is, is because I guess it kind of kills off the suspense, right? When, when a new anime just comes out and, you know, you've already read the manga, you're like, well, I know what's going to happen. So, I mean, it's going to be less dramatic right now. So, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather keep the suspense there, you know? Okay. You just got yeah, okay. to wait for the anime to come out. Okay, it's going to be I more suspense. I personally love reading manga, but, well, I can understand that. Ah. So, yeah, okay, so I have some Trove questions here. So mm -hmm. firstly, how long do you play Trove daily? How long do I actually play daily? Well, I, I'd say at the least, probably about three hours, right? Three to four, probably. And at the most that I've probably played, probably like 14 Damn. hours. I guess it, it kind of depends on my mood. Yeah, um, if I feel like playing Trove on that day, then probably 12 hours, I would probably grind do Geode runs on Tuesdays. And yeah, there was once that I kind of hosted like Geode runs for like 10 hours straight, I guess, for I guess one week. And then the next week I was like, nah, I'm not going to be farming Geode. So I just kind of left Geode to rot there without any like farming, like probably like 30 minutes of Geode farming back then. But yeah, you know, it kind of depends on my mood, but at least per day, probably like about three hours right. plus. But it's still a ton if you add them on weeks and months. So yeah, you play quite a bit of Trove. Yeah, I, I definitely do play too much as of right now. So yeah, and you own a club and it's like, I think, top 10, right? Yeah, it's top 8 as of right now though. Oh, okay. Firstly, congrats on that. Yeah, around there. And Fluctuate like about top 8 to 10. Okay, well, my question is, how hard is it to manage a top 10 club? Okay, so, you know, from the beginning, I guess it was it was a bit hard, right? But as things kicked off, I guess I started getting used to it. Everything just started, you know, going in a loop. It's either, okay, you, you build up the club. I mean, you get a good community. And then, you know, the thing that I feel is going to be one of the hardest things to manage in the club is the activity. Um, especially if you're not consistent because if you you actually want to get a good club you should be consistent with the recruiting I mean we basically recruit every single day that's how we kind of keep the cycle going because players are leaving and new players are joining the game every single day right the players that you kind of see in like two weeks ago might not be the same as of right now if you're probably were in the club right so let's say player x has been in a member in the club for like two weeks ago and then two weeks later you come back and you're like where's this guy or so where's this group of people now a new cycle of players are just going to be coming in so you should be trying to keep it consistent and especially with the recruiting never stop recruiting because that is going to be the death of the club if you don't really you know keep on recruiting okay so i guess it should be really, really hard and you really have to keep the consistency going or else the club is going to die. And which is one of the things that I kind of 
fear, right? That's why I'm always on Trove and, you know, trying to keep it alive as much as I can. Okay, do we also have people who help you at that or are you alone? Well, I've got a couple of awesome people. I've got a couple of VPs. I've got a ton of enforcers that's been helping me out a ton. We've been doing giveaways. We've been recruiting players left and right. And yeah, I guess we've kind of been adopting different methods as of right now because there are going to be a ton of different methods to recruit players. But yeah, we do have a really, really supportive group of friends that actually help each and every one out. If I may ask, can you tell us a few methods or is it secret or anything like that? A few? Like maybe just one mean, or two? Like to recruit? Yeah. All right, I guess I'll let you in on the, on the kind of methods that we kind of use, right? First off, I guess it is definitely going to be the posting um, advertisements inside the chats like Global, Trade, Leviathan and Delve. That's basically all of the chats that you can actually, you know, post in as, as, as long as you don't really like spam it too much. People won't really yeah. mind, but that is one of the most fundamental methods um, to actually recruit for players. The second one would be directly asking players like, um, let's say I kind of friend a big group of people, right? I take a thousand names. I add each and every one of those thousand names. And then whenever they're online, you know, you can just prompt them, you know, just ask them, but not, not really too pushy. I mean, you can just say, okay, um, hey, dude, how's your day going? And then after that, so you probably just prompt him whether he's interested in looking for an awesome club and stuff like that. And I guess that's probably yeah. two of the most um, efficient methods to actually get players to actually join your club. And it does really, really prove helpful when it comes to finding for new members. And those are the two methods that we are currently adopting as of right now and probably might be trying a more efficient way. But as of right now, those are going to be the best two different best ways yeah well okay yeah me and Invalot, i don't know if you saw this we made like club tips a few days mm -hmm. ago did you saw it yeah I, I saw i saw that video ah, okay so yeah we also had a few ways and methods and those are just new methods so that's quite nice so yeah so just some more clips so, more tips so mm -hmm. yeah I have a few youtube questions that's around YouTube uh -huh. and you as a YouTuber. So mm -hmm. firstly, how many Trove YouTubers do you know and how many do you watch? Of course, that's Sayushi. I do watch Sayushi. Um, and then there is um, Lord Faffy. I do watch him at times as well. These are basically the two main Trove YouTubers, the mainstream ones that are currently running the, the whole game, right? They're literally monopolizing yeah. the game as a whole. And I guess for smaller ones, I guess Nintendo, I, I kind of watch him on and off and probably checked out your channel once or twice as well. Then the other is not really too much. I guess I've heard of other channels like Wahoo Gaming and stuff like that. And I guess Ted, yeah, but I guess he doesn't really make that many Trove videos as of late. Yeah, so, does. yeah, I'm not really too sure whether I know anyone else, but that should be the, the ones that I know as of right now, right off the bat. Okay. Well, all right. So, second question. What do you think is the reason you get so many views and subs? The first thing that I, I'd like to, you know, talk about, um, about getting views and subs is you first, you have to establish a name of yourself, right? You've got to, yeah. you know, build a a name that is reputable. Like, okay, let's say you start off with a simple, simple giveaways, um, because that's basically how I started off. We started off by doing small giveaways and then the giveaways mm -hmm. got bigger and then it got bigger and bigger. And after that, we transitioned from, you know, being a giveaway channel, we switched on over to a tips channel because that's basically what people like in the game, right? Because, yeah. you know, they are always constantly trying to search for the most effective methods and the most quickest ways to, you know, save the time and not be as bored when they're trying to do something. Thing. So it's a really, really good way if you're trying to look for views and trying to improve, improve on your, you know, view count and your player base or your community as a whole. Try and make videos that will satisfy the group of people that are playing Trove. As you probably might have seen if you watched like every like gardening video and like each and every one of the Flux videos that I've made. It's basically been a really, really big part of the channel because it's it's been something that everyone wants, right? Everyone likes Flux. Everyone yeah. needs Flux in Trove. So it is definitely something that you should, you know, invest your time 
time in and make videos about because that is what people want to watch and i guess you should be making videos that people would like watching and i guess that is going to be the way that you should be if you're trying to get a healthy um viewer base that's what i'd like to say yeah like flux is a main it's like one of the main topics people want to talk about and you can also see it in ted's channel like he makes like few videos like yeah in a yeah, few yeah. months and he gets like thousands of views with just yeah 100k that. and that's like thousands wow yeah yeah it's really massive so yeah on to the next question and i don't know if you're willing to do that but do you want to reveal your earnings with youtube well earnings probably not as of right now but maybe in the future i might who knows right but as of right now not too keen on that okay okay well okay i understand that of course so yeah as last question for the day what are your goals mm -hmm. with youtube and with trove well my goals um for trove i'll start with trove first i guess I, i've been okay. i've been trying to keep it a secret because I guess it, it won't be fun, right? If I if I reveal it right now, because um, it's it's a okay. big goal. Um, it definitely is a really big one. But I guess the other one that I could talk about, um, the secondary goal that I have in mind, is definitely to get a new club, get a second club other than Silphid, and build it up. You know, get a community that will help every single player in the game. Basically, more of like a helpful um, HQ, right, where everyone helps each other out, and you know, just to stop the toxicity in the game. Because I guess this is going to be a really, really big part of um, why players are not, you know, continuing on with trove like they come online uh, they, they just come online into global they just see a bunch of you know drama and they're like okay nope i i, I came here asking for help like what class should i use but i just got a, a bunch of toxic answers right i guess it should be addressed and we should you know kind of make the community a little bit more livable in so i guess that's one of my goals that i should you know be trying to work into us in the near future i guess is what i want to say about trove and for youtube i guess um not really too i haven't really thought too much about that but for the meantime just making videos that will help and satisfy the player base and to help everyone out as much as possible and just to help you know true progression and you know making people stay as long as they can in this game and keeping it alive yeah that, that's my goal for youtube as well those are some nice goals over there so yeah i'm lo really looking forward to the discord to the community you will probably create in the near future to stop toxicism a little bit so i really look forward to that and yeah, yeah it's gonna be a happy big goal yeah so yeah that's basically the interview so yeah thanks Deadcom for joining here with me. So you are the first in the series. I want to interview every single Trove YouTuber. And I think it's a, a great goal. series. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I'm it's gonna be a great start, yeah. I want to do this like weekly. So yeah, mm -hmm. the next the next ones won't be that big, but I I would really want to try to get Skyushi to get Lord Feffy into here on my channel. That's gonna be a big goal, yeah. One yeah, day one. Really day. Want to try that. It should happen. Because because there aren't really interviews with trophy tubers, I guess, on YouTube. Yeah, that's not many. There's not many. As I've seen, not too many. Yeah. yeah and I always want to try to get to make like something new. So yeah, I thought of this, and I thought it's a great idea. So yeah, I want to interview every single trophy tuber. And you're the first one in the series. Kind of special. Yeah, so, glad yeah. to be here, man. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Bro, no problem. I chose you because. You are now on 5k subs, I think, was? Yeah, about 5.4 around there, yeah, as of right now. Yeah, you are top 10 club, so it shows you because you are quite an interesting person, of course. So, yeah, Latecom, I want to say mm -hmm. thanks for joining here with me. And yeah, that's basically it. La no problem, That's man. basically it. Last words from you, maybe? I guess just keep grinding, stop, don't ever stop grinding and, you know, stay safe. And I guess that would be all. Well, okay. So yeah, guys, go to his channel, leave a subscribe there. Go to my channel and leave a subscribe there. He makes amazing contents, a lot of methods, a lot of tips, and different kind of stuff. So yeah, just go on his channel, link is down in the description, of course. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks again, and yeah, bye. See ya, man.